Well, I forgot to mention that uh, Wonder and Jay might be turning up. And uh, he's turned up. Yeah. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Yeah. All right. You Glad you could make it, mate. I was literally, I swear, about two minutes ago, mentioned you, saying, I wonder if Wonder and Jay would turn yeah. up. Right, I'm all uh, set up. Here's my hex peak. I absolutely love it. I really do. There's just so much room in there. I mean, I've got all my gear in there. There's plenty more room for other stuff as well. So, as always, the cheap little mouldy sleep map and uh this is the snug pack sleeping bag that dave fawn from i don't do hills gave me uh, a couple of years ago now so yeah and over here i wonder what we have here as well i wonder what does that it's heavy but i don't care <laughs> I just use my dry bag, get some air oh, in it with all my clothes, all put a fleece around for like. No, I've done all that. I've tied that, I've tied all the little mini ones. Yeah. And Paul Buck put me onto this. Right. And he was like, he had it on the TGO. I was like, oh, I'm going to get one. As soon as I got back, I ordered it. <laughs> it's just lovely. Does it go down really small? <coughs> small enough. 200 grand. Because the one I, I've had before, it was only a cheapy thing, but it was really uncomfortable. Hmm, I might look into that. It's what, like half the thing is like, tricks me to go to sleep. Like, you know. Yeah, there's a fat ass there. <laughs> and over here, guess what we have? A Germid. Yes, <laughs> another hex peak. This one is the brown version. I was so close to getting the brown one, I thought I'd be a bit different to everyone else. But no, I just ended up with a green one in the end. So it's a bit of a... Well, you might not be able to see because of the glare of the sun. Yeah. Three hex peaks on Great Mist Tour. I am really jealous. Look at them eating their dinner already. Dean's got the, uh, what is it, bolognese? I actually thought he was going to come out with the carbonara. And Jay. It's got his uh, dry food, isn't it? Um, yeah, I do it myself. Yeah. Uh, chili con carne. Which I might look into, but I need a bigger portion than that. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. I mean, this phone ain't going to pick it up. I mean, you see the River Tamar there. But all on that horizon is the sea, the English Channel. Absolutely stunning. Oh, I've just said that, but I've just said to, um, well, there's my time lapse going down there in the centre of your screen. I did mention to Dean and Jay that it's a shame I'm doing the time lapse because I can't use the GoPro for um, taking raw photos because that just come up stunning here. But I'm not going to interrupt the time lapse. But the sun sets just over there and rises just over there. So technically you could do a day to night, night 
today time lapse on one go. I would like to do that that one day, but I think you'll have to do that on June the 21st. I think the camera lens is wide enough. I don't know if you can pick it up here, but um, sorry, Dean. We have people camping just down there. I know there's at least two lots up there. You won't see it now because it's in the shade, but there's a lot of camping down there as well. But we're nice and quiet up here, aren't we? Yeah. And the three hex peaks. We are, ladies and gents. There's a uh, omelette, cheese, and chorizo with fried chips. And look at that for the scenery. And that sunset is stunning. <laughs> right, the sun's gone down. That was a really good uh, sunset. I just hope the time lapse has brought it out. And uh, we have Wandering Jay that met us earlier. And we have Colonel Camps, new to YouTube. He's the one who, uh, I was saying earlier, recognises uh, Dean and not me until I mentioned it. I was disappointed about that. And there's Dog Dave. So go and check his channel out. I can't say whether it's any good or not because I've not seen it myself yet. But I'll certainly be subscribing and uh, watching some videos. And so it's Colonel Camps out. Um, just one word, is it? Okay. It's uh, 1.25 a.m. It's been a really, really good day. Uh, it's been a really good evening. I'm really glad that Wandering Jay turned up. And it was nice to meet Colonel Camps. <sighs> he come over and was chatting to us for ages. Really nice bloke he is. I'm sure you're watching, so hello, mate. Thanks for coming on over. I've got a day to night time lapse I've not had a look at it as of yet it's all just single pictures so I won't see how that's come out until I get home and edit it but uh, after this little section here I'll, I will put it in whether it's bad or whether it's good me and Dean have been a little bit brave tonight we both have left the GoPros out there shooting a night lapse uh, he's got his pointing in one direction I've got my point pointing in another direction Dean doesn't know what this is going to come out like but I've done some practice shots with mine <coughs> and I tell you what I'm absolutely amazed there's a little bit of light pollution bottom left hand side but the stars oh, you see loads of them it's pointing up at the galaxy, uh, the Milky Way. Unfortunately, you can't make out the Milky Way, but you can see hundreds and hundreds of stars. And that's just the JPEG version. I've, I've not seen the raw version. So, yeah, we're leaving them out all, overnight. Uh, Dean thinks this battery's gonna run out before it gets light. Mine's still gonna be going. Um, so it's just going to white out where it gets light 
but I'll, I'll cut it off before then uh, for the edit for this video. So I will put that after the day to night time lapse. I hope you enjoy. So that's me signing off for tonight. I'm quite drunk, as you can probably tell. <laughs> I feel sorry for Dean. <laughs> he, he was doing what I'm doing now. I decided to uh, get the speaker out and blow out a little bit of hard house. <laughs> um, yeah. So I think he's had to retake that. But yeah, it's been a really good laugh. Rambling on, as always. Good night. And I will see you in the morning. Cheers. Good morning. It's 7.54. Sorry, I didn't say good night last night. I don't think I did. Actually, I did. <coughs> oh, I was so drunk last night. I actually managed to drink all my alcohol. Two litres of cider, four cans of Cronenberg. Sorry, three cans of Cronenberg because I gave Je um, Dean one. And uh, a Spitfire. That was a really, really good evening. Um, Unfortunately, it looks like uh, a bomb's gone off in the tent. It's because um, matey come down last night and I just, as I was just about to have dinner, which is bloody lovely. But I just chucked everything in the tent. I thought I'll sort that out in a bit. Didn't get around to it, so I'll have to do it this morning. But first things are first. Cup of tea and some breakfast. But look at this. Absolutely beautiful. I actually woke up, not sure what time it was, but I woke up just before sunrise. So I managed to uh, switch mine and Dean's GoPros off. Uh, we got some night lapses. Dean's looks really, really good. I can't really see mine properly at the moment. So I'll have to piece that all together and see if it's any good but I did get some very very good photos I'm really impressed bear in mind I've done it on a GoPro Hero 5 you can see absolute tons of stars tea time and a cup of tea time oh cheers <sighs> really needed that Absolutely stunning. And I just thought, why am I sat on this hard rock when I've got a chair just there? Oh well. Right, I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. Obviously, I'm going to have breakfast and pack up and all that. But Dean's offered me a lift back to Exeter, then I could get another a bus back to Dordesh, get home, see the family. I know uh, the wife's going to do roast dinner. Um, but then I had planned to walk across Ruse Tour, Cox Tour, Staple Tour and all that. But I don't know if I can be bothered. The other thing I wanted to do was um, with my GoPro, I've bought some ND filters. So I wanted to do some, or well, attempt some cinematic filming. Um, so you can shoot at 24 frames per second and then you've got the 180 rule which is 24 frames per second and a shutter speed of 1 over 48 so you're doubling that number and that gives you a really nice cinematic uh, like motion blur that's that's what you're more realistic of what your eyes see I think so I, I kind of wanted to find a stream and uh, try to get some nice shots of that, some nice shots of the tour, some um, photos, get the silky kind of looking water. But it depends on how heavy my pack is now, uh, once I've packed up. So decision, decisions. If I stay, I can't get the bus to just go on one gets back into Exeter at 3, then I've got to get another bus, so it kind of gets a bit late then. So I will let you know in a bit. Okay, so this morning I've got something nice and simple. You're probably wondering why 
I said I needed to boil up two lots of water. Because I'm having porridge. I was going to buy two packs because I'm a fat get. And uh, they don't quite fill me up, but I found this big one. That a stir. Which I think is golden, yeah, golden syrup. This one is still doesn't look like a lot in there to be fair. All right, leave that for a minute to stand. This isn't no fry up, but I'm looking forward to this. Quick and easy, and it does taste really good actually. Really sweet. Okay, we're finally all packed up and ready to go. Um, these two were ready way before me. If you've ever been camping with me, you know that I'm always the last one up and last one to pack away. There's my gear there. As you can see, it's just flat bits of grass where we were pitched up last night. Uh, don't forget, leave no trace, or as everyone says, Hashtag leave no trace. Um, every time you come to Dartmoor for camp, never have a fire and don't forget whatever you bring with you, take back with you as well. It's lighter going back, so there's no reason to leave it here. Um, so yeah, it's really good meeting up with these two again. Uh, Wandering Jay, so please go and check out his channel. I will link uh, his channel in the description. And it's been great to meet you again, Dean. Yeah, really good camp, wasn't it? Yeah, first time together uh, yeah. up on Dartmoor, isn't it? Up Dartmoor. No, it's good. Cracking spot uh, we got yeah, there, yeah. isn't it? Good find, that. Yeah. So don't forget, go and check Dean out. <laughs> Life on the rocks. <laughs> That's <laughs> right, you got it right again. I will leave a description. I will leave a link in the description once again. Also, um, Colonel Camp. I'll um, try and get a link for that one too. So... This will be the last bit of filming I'll do. Uh, we're just gonna, it's a short walk back down to the Four Winds car park. Dean's gonna drop me back to Exeter and I'm gonna get the bus back to Dordish. So if you watch this far, thank you very much and I will see you on the next one. Take care, thank you, cheers.